All right, Artem MMA analysis back with another fight. Announcement, Ian Gary will be fighting Darian Weeks on the UFC 273. I think there's a pretty good chance that this will be the featured prelim. Um, may, nah, I was going to say maybe open the main card, but I think that might be a little bit too much too soon. Especially with uh, a few decently sized names on this fight, uh, fight card here. I think this could be the featured prelim, maybe the co-main event of the prelims, if that makes sense. We've got Ian Gary versus Darian Weeks here. Darian Weeks coming off a short notice fo short notice fight against Brian Barbarena, where, man, I picked him to win, and there's a very uh, valid argument to say that Brian Barbarena actually lost that fight. I'm going to be honest, Darian Weeks outlanded him and took him down a couple of times. But uh, moving on from that, talking about Ian Gary, talking about Ian Gary, the prospect that they're obviously trying to build here over in the UFC. He's 8-0. They obviously want to keep building on their undefeated record, and I think that they're doing that by giving him a relatively safe matchup here against Darian Weeks, a guy that was meant to fight Josh Quinlan on Dana White's Contender Series last year as well. I, I'm 90% sure uh, that was meant to happen, but he's only 24 years old. They, they're going to do it the right way. I want to see them do this. I want to see them build him up slowly here. In Gary, he was losing against Jordan Williams until he knocked him out. That's just the truth of it, and that is a really scary um thing to see if you're trying to build up a young guy and you see him losing to a guy like jordan williams the lowest of the low no disrespect to him um in the ufc welterweight division that's just not really a good look man and i think that um the ufc matchmakers have kind of realized that especially with these young prospects that they're trying to build out of europe they're gonna have to start giving them easy matchups keep building them up he's only 24 years old he's got he's got about five or six years until he actually reaches his prime so let's just keep building him up Let's keep building his star power, building his name, uh, making his record a lot better, giving him some highlight real KOs. With that being said, I think I can see Ian Gary winning this fight. And I do think that we are going to see Ian Gary win the fight uh, by knockout, but I don't think it's going to be in the first round. I think we're going to see a second or third round knockout from Ian Gary here. Darren Weeks, I think he's actually going to look quite good in the fight. Um, I think we're definitely going to see at least one takedown. Uh, from Darian here. He does have pretty solid wrestling. He's shown it over the regional scene. But he does also have good stand-up um, himself. I think that uh, his fight against Brian Barberino. Was that the first time that he's ever been to a decision in his professional career? Let me have a look. It is It is actually. He's got a boxing belt. So he's got a boxing uh, background as well. But uh, that is his only decision... Um, He's ever been to in his professional MMA career. I've got Ingari here. I think Ingari is going to get the job done. He's got really good striking. He does. He was losing to Jordan Williams though, which does scare me like a lot. <laughs> but he's going to be a lot bigger than Darian Weeks here. He's going to be four inches taller, I think. I don't really know. 11 centimeters taller anyway. He's going to have the longer work reach as well. I think he can utilize that. He's going to be much bigger in the cage. I think once again he can utilize that and he's going to finish a knockout in the second or third round. But... Very good opportunity for Weeks here to actually build his name when he lost a close decision to Barbarina. If Darian Weeks wins this fight, he's also only 28 years old, so potentially the UFC could build up Darian Weeks' name the same way that they're building up Ian Gary and Paddy Pimblett at the moment here. It's like a prospect out of the United States, but I don't think that they're going to get as much of a following as Ian Gary would if he wins the fight. So I think the UFC obviously want Ian Gary to win the fight. I think Ian Gary's going to win the fight. I think we're going to see a knockout. He put on a really great knockout uh, last year. I think we're going to see another one towards the uh, towards the end of the fight, second or third round, Ian Gary.